feel the sun. Feel the cool air. He's got the right idea. Good morning everybody okay so we got a lot to talk about today we've got it's been raining it's, there's been a lot of rain going on so fishing has been kind of stagnant the tarpon are all over the place they are stacking up people are starting to catch them on the beach kayaks bridge piers it's going down but that being said it has been like hit or miss you know water i tried yesterday and the water was just it, it, I mean, it poured and then it cleared up and then today the water is nasty out there. It's one of my biggest things about YouTube is that I can show you guys stuff about my life that's a little outside of fishing. This is a vlog. This isn't really a fishing show or a fishing channel. This is me giving you guys my experiences through my eyeballs and you know, uh, what that's what's cool is because I can share with you all whatever I want. There's no middleman. There's nobody saying, hey, you can't post that. That's why I like to post a lot of stuff. I like to post everything because I got to keep everybody kind of in tune with what's going on in my life. Because I've been one of those kind of guys throughout my life where stuff just happens to me. It just happens. That's why I started carrying a camera around to video all the stuff that just happens. Weird stuff. Look at that. See? Cloudy as can be. So the biggest thing for me with YouTube is I like to share with you guys what Pensacola has to offer. Because I feel like Pensacola is undervalued. It's a totally undervalued place. The whole Gulf Coast. It's one of the prettiest places in the United States. But it's like there's nobody to sh really show everybody how pretty it is. I literally think everybody should take a vacation down here and see this emerald green water. It is seriously like next level stuff. Those of you that live around Pensacola, you know that this is a beach town. Everything revolves around the beach. You keep flip-flops on 90% of the time, and you always got fishing gear in your car. See, look at that. Look at all that fishing gear. I'm never caught without my fishing gear. It's like some people aren't caught without guns. I'm never caught without a fishing rod because it's just part of the life. That's why it's so much on this channel because I fish a lot. It's got adjusted. Best thing I've done all year. I was like this. Now I feel like I can run a marathon. Dr. Craig Henry. Feel like a new man. All right, so I'm meeting Samantha for lunch at a little hidden gym on the water. It's called the Ore House. It's a fun place in Pensacola. And I'm feeling a ton better after getting adjusted by the chiropractor. That is worth its weight right there. Better look out, I might surf a wave now. Get I'm gonna get the shrimp quesadilla. Well, sounds good. good. Come out here and do this. I totally gotta do this been meaning to join the cornhole and volleyball league out here for a while. Keep forgetting about it. Samantha just reminded me. This brings me to the meat and potatoes what I want to talk about today. The one thing I love about this whole vlog YouTube thing is I can share with you guys whatever I'm thinking and you know I can share with you the things that are around my town that you know probably gets passed up and people don't even know about the cool things the interesting things, and the interesting people so that's why I never really let anybody kind of uh, um, keep me from sharing whatever I want on this channel. Because remember one thing, you miss 100% of the opportunities you don't know about, that's why I share everything I can, because the opportunities that I found out about was because somebody else shared them on YouTube and on these platforms. And you miss 100% of the opportunities that you never seize, grab, and try to take advantage of. So that's why I am putting these videos out and giving you all my knowledge on everything I know, hunting, fishing, everything. 
YouTube, social media. I think I'm just gonna like put it all out there because this is my platform for me to you and I hope I can help y'all in any way I possibly can. And I'm gonna pledge that. I'm pledging that right now. You know, one of the biggest things that I've learned from this channel, because I like to share my ideas and share ideas or and get ideas from other people, is the three desks you see right here. Okay, a lot of people have asked me kind of what I do like on a daily basis or for a living. Well, I do this YouTube channel, which has turned into a business in itself, and you see these three desks. Uh, this is my buddy Eric that works right here. He owns like 17 rental properties. He's probably one of the best entrepreneurs I've ever met. Young entrepreneurs. We're all in our early, mid 30s, and we all have a hustle going on. He's got like 17 rental properties, and he also has a couple other businesses. That <laughs> He's probably one of the best young entrepreneurial minds I've ever met. And then my desk is right here, which I'm YouTube. And, and for those that you'll know, I was retired military. I got retired early from the Army. And this is Brant Peacher. And y'all know him for Angler Up with Brant, the YouTube channel. He also runs probably the biggest charter boat company in Pensacola. If you drive down I-10, you see his picture on the billboard on the top left-hand corner of I-10 because it has turned into a great entrepreneurial endeavor. Which is kind of my point. You know, a lot of people like to, to beat you down when you have an idea or you have a passion. Mine was this channel. I wanted to create it for to share information that wasn't being shared out there. So when I hear somebody say, hey, uh, you got a fishing channel. I'm unsubscribing because I don't, I don't like that. Well, I think, well, if I would have listened to that type of stuff from the beginning, I wouldn't have made any of the videos that I've made. Things that are outside the scope of fishing or hunting or whatever because I feel like me as a person has a lot to offer the world. And I feel like every moment needs to be documented because you'll never have that moment again. So I like to create these vlogs like, we, like, like today to where I can show you what it's like to eat um, at the ore house or what it's like to go to the Wahoos game. It, it, it's just super cool that I can share with people all over the world my ideas and I really want to start doing it on a daily basis. I'm trying. It's just hard to gather that much content, craft together a good video each day. Uh, I really want to try, I really want to get back into it. I did it once before but um, I feel like I'm just kind of getting back in the groove to do that now. And I want to show, share with you my ideas. And I would even like to get back into sharing like the business entrepreneurial stuff. Because right now, I'm working on my third rental house. Um, I've got uh, this channel that's going strong. And hustle is key. Hustle is just like one of those things that if you got it, like there's nothing you can't do. But like the biggest thing is what I'm saying is in today's world, things like this vlog, but turning into a business it's wild I would have never you know like thought of it you know five years ago but if you're a dude out there and you are uh, you've got the work ethic and you're tired of the nine to five this right here can be a business um, don't be afraid to pick up a camera and start it can change your life I was just talking to one of my friends uh, a while ago that was wanting to start a YouTube channel. She's like, I keep wanting to start, I keep wanting to start. And I'm like, you could have already made 100 videos in the time you were thinking about starting. So you just gotta, you gotta do like Napoleon Hill said and start right where you are and just start. It's not too late to start. Whether it's a hot dog stand, a YouTube channel, uh, a charter boat company or whatever. You just gotta start. Don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do something. I'm gonna rewind this day to like two days ago and I wanna show you what went on when me and Samantha went to the game. Cause if you haven't ever been, you gotta go. So we're going there in three, two, one. So we just realized it looks like rain. I didn't even check the weather. It's been like hotter than heck. We're supposed to go to the ball game, but it's not looking like it. We gotta go get some oysters and then we'll see. So this is Florida, check this out. Raining, not raining. Raining, not raining. Isn't that wild? We're going towards the rainy. Yeah, but area. we gotta go to the rain. Hopefully it'll be over in a second. See, look. No rain. 
rain right there. It is something we can't outrun. I do whatever it takes to hold you. You hit a homer. I thought it was going to be a pop up, but it just kept going. <laughs> the air got it. So we had to hide out of the sun for like the first part of the game. Yeah. It was so hot. We got beers in the air conditioning. We got beers in the bar. It was awesome. Luckily, the stadium is built so that how the sun sets, the whole stadium goes in the shade. It's an afternoon shade. Yeah, so now it's shady and only uh, feels like 100 out instead of 107. Yeah, it's a slight difference. Yeah, I'm not having to pat the sweat off my forehead now. Whoa, y'all should see the sky. Yeah, this, this is a hammer coming. It's like black. This is a full on Widowmaker. I didn't think it was going to come to us so quickly. Check, check this out. This, my, this is crazy. I'm going to be super amazed if we don't get wet, Samantha. This wind is out of control. I feel it. I feel it coming. I feel the thunder. Got the right idea. You can smell the rain coming. It feels really good outside. It's cool smell down it. like 20 degrees. Yeah, it's, it's a chill fall afternoon with rain right now. Awesome. Run, Samantha, run! It's coming! And it feels so good though. And when you're all messed up, it's a great relief. Don't worry guys, we made it. We made it. We made it safe and sound. That was a quick one. They just well, blew up on us. Those Florida storms, they just, they're just they here and gone, here it, and gone. It, it looks dark outside, but it's only because of the storm. It's really yeah. daylight still. Yeah, it's still like, like what, 7, 7.30? Doesn't yeah. get dark till like 8 something. 